Good morning everybody! So it's slightly different today. We are not doing Saturday night takeaway at 5pm because we are making Valentine's breakfast instead. And if you like it, then you can maybe go and do it tomorrow for your Valentine's breakfast. We're going to do three different breakfasts today. No, I'm not going to eat them all, otherwise I'd be eating like 20 sins. I'll be eating one of them. Okay, so if you hit that share button, don't forget to comment share so I can pop you in the next prize draw but we're gonna start off with this prize draw so Donna Gibson was our last winner good morning Victoria hi Sue hi Margaret and on Tuesday we did chicken and bean casserole which was amazing and it did me lunch for two days after that because it was so much and we made the Oreo cheesecake that didn't last for two days. That got inhaled that night. Um, we had 165 shares, which means we have one prize in the pot. Who's feeling lucky? Good morning. Everybody's thinking, what on earth is she doing? I'm still in my jammies, by the way. It's morning. Kids are on the PS4 and Andrew's um, sitting doing something. Who knows? Right, so here we go. 23, I will find you. I will message you. I will send you a little prize from me good morning sarah thank you very much for the share julie and sarah and ellen you're all in the prize draw right i get asked a lot about breakfast lunch puddings so everything that i'm going to cook this morning could double up as a pudding as well so winner winner chicken dinner so even if you don't want it for breakfast you could have these for puddings i love puddings i've like i've got a real sweet tooth if you've been following my um, meal plans i'm like i've had a hot chocolate i've had hot chocolate i've had hot chocolate i have to have a pudding otherwise i feel like i've been robbed so i will post all the links to all the um groups i will post the pictures i will post the recipes so just make sure you are following at the top of the page then you're not going to miss any of it right so we're going to do one at a time first up I'm going to do baked oats. So I've mastered these this week and they are so good. But they double up as a pudding as well. So you could split your oats and make two. Um, or you could use it as just as one of your healthy extras for the day. But they look like muffins. So you could have like a muffin for pudding later. Boom. Right. Let's turn this round so we can see. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. Um, if I see them, I will answer them. If I don't, I'll do my best to get back to them afterwards. Yeah, puddings are life, Lauren. Um, so we're going to do the baked oats first. Let me get a jug. Right. In fact, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. Let me get closer to um, the camera so I can read some comments. Thanks for the share, Lorna. You're in the next prize draw. I've got that many dishes and bowls out. I don't know what I'm doing, peeps. Right, jug, scales, make sure you're weighing your healthy extras. Thank you for the stars, Diane, they're going to charity. Right, so 40 grams of oats. I've just got Scottish oats from Tesco's. You can get them from anywhere. 40 grams of oats is your healthy B for the day. So make sure you weigh them, no guesstimating people. 40 grams, pop them to one side. You want one egg, one egg. No, oh, I'm gonna rinse my hands. Greek yogurt if you wanted to as well in fact I might do that I'm gonna do that today um so 100 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt that's there's no sins in that but you could use a Muller light yogurt instead and then that's gonna give it the flavor so if you use the caramel Muller light it's gonna be like a caramel muffin if you use the cherry one it's gonna be like a cherry so do you know what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get Muller light what we having what we having Ooh, 
So one of these pots, so you want 100 grams, so we're just going to weigh it out as I go. One of these Muller Light yogurts is um, half a sin, so just remember to sin it. So I want 100 grams, there we go. The rest you can just eat, look, then you've had your half a sin. Boom. Let me plant that to one side. I'll leave that later. Right, that's in there. What else? Sweetener. Low calorie sweetener. This one is from Tesco's. I'm gonna pop that in. One tablespoon of sweetener going in. Pop that to one side. Now, if you've got some berries, let me get my little things out, they're all getting messed up. If you've got some berries, you could pop them in there too. I'm just going to give this a good mix up. How easy is this? Okay, so this is going to be like a strawberry one. But you can put anything in. Normally, I would just use the plain yogurt and then, uh, oh, you can't see, darn it, hang on. Sorry, now you can see. That wasn't very helpful, was it? Morning, Sandra. So normally I would just use the fat-free yogurt and then put like a handful of um, frozen cranberries in or blueberries. Um, you can whack in whatever you want. If you want to chuck in some strawberries, you can, or just go with the yogurt. The other day I forgot to put any of that in and it was just like a vanilla muffin. It was gorgeous. Then you're going to need some little ramekins. These ones were from Tesco. They were two for £1.50. It's going to fill one of those ramekins to the top. Now, where I was going wrong is I was using a bigger dish and then it didn't rise. Whereas when you put it in here, fill it, it's going to rise and then it's going to come up here and it's going to look like a muffin. These were cooked the other day and Andrew just, I just wrapped one in a napkin and he took it to work like a hot muffin. So we're going to whack that in the ramekin and then it goes in the oven for about 30 minutes. Just set your timer, you'll see it rising. Absolutely wicked. So how easy is that? That's all, oh, I've dropped it on the board already, look. I'm not very, not very neat. Right, that's one pudding done. So that's going to be a strawberry baked oats, okay? I always put it in a dish just in case it leaks over or anything. That is going in the oven. I will post the picture later and the recipe. Now we're gonna make French toast. Right, that one's in. Let me just clean that up. Okay, has everybody got that? So that's baked oats, simple. You can use plain, you can use Muller Light, you can shake it up, put a little bit of fruit in there. If you are um, popping fruit in, frozen fruit, when you cook it, it's sinned. So 100 grams of like cranberries would be half a sin, cooked. If you're eating them and they're not cooked, it's, um, they're free, but it, or the speed. So if you're cooking them, you have to sin them. But if you could like, you're not gonna put 100 grams in because it's not gonna fit in that dish. Um, but if you say half a sin for that whole thing, it's covered. If you're using a Muller Light, that's half a sin as well. So, okay, half a sin for a big muffin. Next one. What's up, you hang around like a... I'm starving. He's starving. Andrew wants his French toast. This next one is for oh. Andrew. <laughs> He's waiting for his he's waiting for his breakfast. Right, I'm just gonna tip it round a bit more. Thanks for the stars, Debbie. They're all going to charity. Right. French toast next. So I'm gonna do it in this big bowl. You need wholemeal bread, 50-50 white seeded bread. You're gonna to have to sin all of that. Wholemeal bread, you don't have to sin. I'm using 50-50, but I'm not eating this because I haven't got any wholemeal bread to show you. So you're allowed 60 grams as your healthy beat, so make sure you measure it. If when you pop it on the scales, you're slightly over, just cut off the crust and make sure that you're eating the exact amount, okay? So it should be roughly around two rounds of bread. Just chop them into triangles. Get your bowl, can you see? Yeah, I think you can see. If anybody asks any questions and you know the answers, 
please feel free to answer them guys but I'll work my way through at the end so we've got the bread we put it into triangles next we need an egg one egg in your bowl you want quite a like a shallow bowl that you can sit your bread in and it's all going to soak it up let me just rinse my hands So you could make this for your loved ones tomorrow, guys. Right, so we've got that. Next, we need some milk. I always use skimmed. I only buy skimmed now. Two tablespoons. This is like, use this out of your milk allowance for the day. And you're all good. Sweetener, low calorie granulated sweetener. Again, this is free. You want a teaspoonful going in. Pop that out of the way. Cinnamon, get the right measure. These are really handy. Make sure you get some of these if you haven't already got them. They're just like little measurers. Mine were from Tesco's, but I'm pretty sure you can get them like on Amazon or anywhere like that. Good morning. If I'm missing the comments, I will um, go back through them. Thanks for the shares, guys. So half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Again, spices and herbs and stuff, they're all free. Pop that in there. Vanilla extract next. This one's from Tesco's. Any store will do. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Done. Right, now we're gonna whisk it all together. And we're gonna soak our bread in it before we fry it in the fry light. Good morning, good morning, morning, morning. Hey Yvonne, we're making breakfast options which will also double up as pudding. Make sure you give it a real good whisk. Oh God, flicking it everywhere. There we go, we've whisked it up. French toast, beautiful. Get your bread, we're just gonna soak them in, in it. Make sure it soaks it all up really nice. I'm just gonna pile them all in there. Leave them soak in a second. Andrew loves French toast. Does anybody else on here like French toast? Just make sure that you're using wholemeal bread, then you won't need to sin it, okay? I haven't got any wholemeal bread, but I'm not eating it, so we're all good. All right, just make sure you've got it all and it's all soaking it up nicely. Right, I'm gonna rinse my hands. Did you all enjoy our live last night? Oh my word, honestly. Andrew looked like a drag queen. <laughs> he got off and looked in the mirror properly and he's like, oh my word. Right, fry like your pan. And then get it on, girls. And gents, sorry if there's any gents on here, get it on. <laughs> You've never tried French toast, you need to give it a whirl. Right, it's soaked up all the juice. All you need to do is fry this for a couple of minutes, both sides, job done. Serve it with some Greek yogurt, some berries, whatever it is you like. You see how it's just soaked up all the juice. Well, let's move that around, get them all in. There we go. So I'm giving you three different options here. Obviously I'm not gonna eat them all this morning, otherwise um, I would be consuming a lot of sins. I might need some flipperers. Here we go. 
So, depending on what you serve this French toast with, this dish is totally sin free. But we're going to serve it with, I don't know, what do you want? You could have cream with it. I'm going to put maple syrup on it. Oh, Andrew's going to have maple syrup on it, so you're going to have to sin your maple syrup. Maple syrup is two sins for a tablespoon. So, again, that's where these little measurers come in. So, you can, you can have all of these goodies, all of them. But just make sure that you're sinning them all properly and not guessing because you'd be surprised when you pour maple syrup out. How fast it comes out and suddenly you've had flippers, yeah, flippers. Um, <laughs> suddenly you've had four sins instead of two that you thought you were having. So use these measurers. So put on whatever toppings you want. I'm just going to put some fruit on and then he'll put his um, maple syrup on. You don't like cinnamon. Don't put cinnamon in then. It'd be more like eggy bread. It's frying nicely. Just make sure it's not sticking. I don't want you to stick like that. Turn it down a little bit. Right, we're gonna flip it over. Yeah, don't put the cinnamon in. It'll be more like eggy bread. Move up. Do the bigger frying pan. Here we go. Look how golden it is. Looks beautiful and it smells amazing. Yes, you can put nutmeg in. Good idea. Who was that? Christine. Good idea, Christine. Thank you very much. I get loads of ideas from you lot. The baked oats were from Norma. She posted hers in my group in my group and I was like, mine don't look anything like that. But then I she said get a smaller ramekin, which I went and did, and it looked just like hers. Amazing. Hi Louise, yes, this is French toast. This is dish number two. I will post all the pictures and the recipe afterwards, so make sure you are following so you see it. You love eggy bread. Perfect, you could have eggy bread every morning if you're using your bread as your healthy bee for the day. I'm gonna get my plate ready. Get your plate. Make this look all romantic, guys. They'll think you've like gone to some major effort here. <laughs> and all you're doing is keeping yourself on plan. They'll love you. Andrew's behind me listening, thinking she's going to no effort for me whatsoever. <laughs> there we go, we're about done. I'm just gonna turn it over a little bit more. Then we're gonna rack it up. and we're gonna make it look pretty. Yes, the skinny sauces, these are really good as well. The sweet freedom ones, he needs to get in the cupboard behind me. Don't let me burn your French toast, babe, you'll be moaning. He's getting his maple syrup out. <laughs> are we there, are we still okay? Yeah, we're on, we're fine. Right, so we're gonna line this up and make it look pretty, look. One, can you see, yeah. Two. Oh, let me turn off my pan so I don't forget. Three. Come here. Four. So we've lined it up. We've made it look pretty. Now we're going to add on some chopped berries. I don't know, you might be able to make this look prettier than I just did, but I'm just like going with this here. Oh, and I'm chucking them everywhere. So it's a bit like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Look, your dish is up at Christmas. There's a Christmas tree. I'll put some berries on. Oh, look at this. It does look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> you could put some spray cream on that. So Tesco's 30% less dairy. You can have 12 and a half grams of that. So again, put your plate on the scale, spray and, spray and measure at the same time. Um, one and a half sins. You could use your freedom. He's going to put vanilla extract on. Now, if you want to make it look really posh, quarter of a tablespoon of icing sugar is going to be half a sin. Oh, let me get it. Where's my little sieve? Let's do a dusting of icing sugar. And it's going to look like a chef's just made it. Do 
a little sieve for this. Hang on. I'm going to pop it in. Dust it all over. Boom! Ooh, ooh. Whack that out of the way. Look at that. They can put whatever toppings they want on it. Okay, right. That's dish number two. There you go. How's that? Come and tell them all. I, don't, I just want to eat it. He, ju he just wants to eat it. Uh, before you do, I've just told him he needs to take a picture so I can post it later. <laughs> so, right, okay. That is French toast done. Let me move that out of the way. Whew. Gonna need a vodka after I've done this. Teaspoon. Ta quarter of a teaspoon of your icing sugar is half a sin. You don't need a lot to make it look pretty, okay? Oh yeah, a little tea strainer one would do. Yeah, I need a little um, sieve. That was quite a big one, wasn't it? Right, you ready? Next one. These are for me, guys. I've turned everything off. Chocolate pancakes. Are you ready? These ones I am eating, okay? <laughs> now, I've done this a bit earlier. So, you want 40 grams of oats. I've done them in here. But you need... I haven't got a blender... I've just used my, um, I call it a hand whizzer. <laughs> so weigh out your oats and all I've done is get my hand whizzer and I've blended them up like that. So it looks a bit like flour now rather than oats, okay? So anybody can do that. We've got that in there. Next up, we want half a teaspoon of baking powder. Where's my measurers? I'm gonna have to rinse them, they've had liquid in. Hang on. One set of these should be enough, but as I'm cooking like um, three different things this morning, I'm gonna have to just rinse them quickly. Right. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. That's got sins in, guys, so make sure you are measuring. Right, hang on. Next up. Two eggs. So I'm going to make these small and then make them as a stack. Oh, I forgot to say that. If there's any newbies on here watching for the first time, just comment newbie um, so we can all make friends. So put the two eggs in. Next, we want fat-free yogurt. So I'm going to use my 0% fat-free Greek yogurt. This one is also from Tesco. I haven't been Aldi because I've not been able to get there without the kids. I've been going early. So get your scales. My scales are just from Sainsbury's. But you can get scales from anywhere. You want the ones that change in units, so they do grams, mils, and everything, ounces. So make sure you've got it on the right one. Add your yogurt. How many different fruits do you do? Three. Have you got eggs? There we go. Yogurt on. Right, next bit, cocoa powder. Now, if you get the unsweetened one, it's less sins. I haven't got that, so I'm gonna have to sin all of this. Two and a half sins for a tablespoon. I'm gonna have to wash my tablespoon measure. Hang on. Okay. Once Andrew's devoured his French toast, he's gonna come and tell you how it was. He's too busy troughing it. You better have got a good picture. That's all I'm saying. Right, one table, I need a smaller sieve. Sieve it as it goes in. So you've not got lumps. Okay, I'm just gonna squash it in. Alexa, add small sieve to the shopping list. 
Sorry, everybody, you've all got, now got a sieve on your shopping list, but I needed to do it whilst I remember. Otherwise, I'll forget. Right. Sieve to that in. Boom. Who else has got a sieve on their shopping list? <laughs> right. Now we just, hang on, a tablespoon of sweetener going in. Where's my little measurer? I will post the recipes and all the pictures later. You just need to make sure you're following so that you don't miss it. So in there, we've got 40 grams of oats blended. We've got half a teaspoon of baking powder, two eggs, 80 mils of fat-free yogurt measured on the scales, tablespoon of sweetener, tablespoon of um, cocoa powder. Now we're just gonna whiz it all together. I don't know if I'm gonna get my whisk in there. I might have to use my hand blender again because I've done it in this jug. Hang on, let me move that out of the way. We'll see how it mixes. Might have to get my hand blender in there. It added a small, <laughs> small soup. <laughs> oh dear, right, give this a good mix up. Yeah, I'm gonna need my, um, I think. So it should make quite a thick batter. Give it a good beating. I need a little whisker as well. <laughs> it added to your shopping list. There you go. If you didn't get, if you didn't need one, if you haven't got one, you've got one now. Look on your shopping list. Right. I'm gonna get my whizzer. Let's scoop that in. My hand blender again. And I'm gonna whiz it up with that. You ready? Oh, it's not going to reach, hang on. If I'm missing your comments, I will go back through as many as I can. Just going to whiz it all together. Put your hand right over it so it doesn't fly everywhere. <laughs> Use what you've got, girls. We can mackle this up. Oh, he's here. Oh. There you are, look, there's the... There's the evidence. We have an there's empty the... plate. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. I'll clean it again. Oh, you probably will have it. When I get off here, I'll say, make that again. The only thing, though, you could have done with it... Yeah. ...is done a cup of tea with it as well. Oh, a cup of tea. Dish yours up with a cup of tea, girls. Or gents. Holly would eat the French toast, the pancakes. She loves the um, baked oats as well. So yeah, Holly will. James, well, everybody knows what James is like eating. We don't worry about James as long as he's still breathing. <laughs> and he's eating something. Right, fry like your pan. Right, we fry like the pan. Let's get it on again. So we've got our batter now to make our chocolate pancakes. Depending on what you put on them is gonna depend how many sins there is in it. Currently, there is two and a half sins in this mixture. So these are for me. I'm gonna put berries on the top and I'm going with chocolate shot. This is half a sin for a teaspoonful. And I'm gonna have some squirty cream too. So mine, I'll work out the total, but I think they'll come in for the whole stack. I'm like, oh gosh, hang on. I'm talking away to you lot and I've not put my things on. Um, the whole stack, I think, will come in at about um, four, four and a half sins. So just make them little so you can flip them. Okay? So I'm making two. Look like a pair of boobies there. <laughs> Morning, Gloria. Thank you very much for the shares. Thank you, thank you. We've got any newbies on here. Come and say newbie so we can all make friends. Oh, I've got a small frying pan as well. That would be an option. I'm just doing two at a time so they don't go too cold. Where do I get the chocolate shop from? I think you can get it from any supermarket, um, but Aldi's, these were from Aldi's, so they're a bit cheaper if they're in Aldi. 
it's the cocoa powder that had all the sins in. Two and a half sins for a tablespoon of cocoa powder. If you get the unsweetened one, it's only going to be one sin. But I'm just like using what I've got, peeps. There we go. Make sure they're not sticking. Oh, look at these. I'll take a picture as well afterwards. I could have done with the other frying pan. I could have done them loads. So I reckon you're easily going to get a stack of like four or five out of these. Hi, Sarah. Sarah's a new babe. So everybody said hi to Sarah and Tanya. You wrap them in foil white. Good idea. I'm going to do that. Let's get the foil out. See, this is why we do this live. So we get some tips. Thanks, Angela. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to get the tin foil out now. And I'm going to do exactly that. And pop them over there, look. Right. Once they start bubbling and getting their little, like, whole bits, boom, we're going to flip them. Oh, boom. Do the other side. Then we're going to wrap them in the tin foil and keep them warm because that was an awesome tip. Welcome to all the newbies. Hello, hello. Hi, Alison. We're all friendly over here. We don't have any nastiness. If anybody's not nice, we just block them. Because <laughs> we're here to have fun and help each other and be kind, people. Be kind. The world's bad enough right now without people being horrible. Morning, Vanessa. Right, these ones are done. So I'm going to wrap them in that tin foil because that was a genius tip and they smell amazing. This is mine. This is mine. I need to turn my pan down a bit. It's getting a bit hot. Fry light again. Remember, your fry light's free. Oh, my pan seems a bit hot. Hang on. Ooh, don't want to burn them. Yeah, I think I'm going to get five out of this mix. He's coming to make sure the smoke alarm doesn't. I've put the sucker on. It's flapping. I'm going to set the smoke alarm off. That will not be the first time on a Facebook Live. Come and do breakfast for you. Hannah, you can do these. These are so easy. I've just done three puddings this morning. Oh gosh, baked oats. Oh yeah, the oats are rising. I'll post the picture later. Make sure you follow in. Did it take a long time for Andrew to get his makeup off? We got back in the shower. I gave him the wine and the cleansing balm. So that, that takes it straight off, doesn't it? So um, he just... Um, Wiped it and then he went back in the shower. <laughs> there we go. Just make sure they're not sticking. And get ready for flipping. I love the idea of the tin foil. How have I not ever thought about that? Flip them. Boom. You're doing your first live tonight. Go for it, Hannah. Go for it. What's the worst that's going to happen? You make a mistake. I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> Sharing is caring, people. Thank you. These look amazing. They're going to taste amazing, Sarah. You're going to absolutely love them. Can you see how everything we've made this morning would double up as a pudding as well? So you've got three different breakfast options and three different pudding options there. Boom. You know what you're making for pancake day. You can still stay on plan and you can still have the little treat so I was like cutting out too many sins and then I'd have a bad day and I'd inhale loads whereas if I'm always having the sweet things that I want like the hot chocolate I'm not gonna fall off the wagon so don't like go without otherwise you're punishing yourself it's not a diet it's like a plan and you need to get your head around it right turn my pan up a bit now just didn't want to burn them Oh God, they smell so good. I'm literally going to inhale these. Good morning. Good morning. I will post the pictures and the recipes. Don't panic. Andrew did take a picture before he inhaled his last one. Thanks for the share, Jane. How are you this morning? Right. These ones are done. I'm going to pop them in the tin foil as well. Oh, they smell so good. So 
we've got one more left to make and then I'm going to stack them, okay? For our light pan again. Just going to get a little knife just to make sure I get all my mix in there. We are not wasting anything, people. No, 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 no. Done. This is so going to be worth the sins, I'm telling you. <laughs> so worth the sins. Last one, then we're going to rack them up. Let me make some room over here. I have made a lot of mess today, guys. Get your plate. I'll just chop it all over there. Give it a wipe. There we go. Get your plate. Yours is going to be way more romantic because you're not going to be doing it on a Facebook Live. <laughs> yep, they can freeze as well. Boom. Simple. Where's my flipper off? Flip. Get ready to stack. So, depends on how you want to do these. Let me get my scales. I need them back. Because I'm having cream on the top, people. So when you're doing it, so I've got my scales underneath and then you can measure, measure, measure and weigh. <laughs> that's a new word, that's a Donna word. You can um, weigh and measure it exactly or you can measure it, okay? Oh dear. Who's having the oats? Holly. Will Andrew cook for me tomorrow? Um, I don't know. Probably not. I'll be making it again. Who knows? We will, I, I will inform you, Yvonne, of what happens tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure I'll be making my own breakfast. Right. I'll be making everybody's. Right. We'll be going again. It just won't be on Facebook Live. Right. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm making the most of this, peeps. Fat-free Greek yogurt. I'm going to layer this up. I'm layering it up. A little bit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I've not turned my pan off. Hang on, I can hear it bubbling. Fat-free Greek yogurt. Can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah. I've got my strawberries. Do you know what? I need to slice them. I'm making the most of it. Actually, I'll just layer them up. Next one, with a little bit more. I need to get some more Greek yogurt. I'm gonna have to pop to the supermarket. We're layering it up. Obviously, you can't have that much cream. Oh my days! I'm not going to need to eat until lunch. There'll be no, there'll be no snack <laughs> this morning. And I'm doing this quickly on a Facebook Live. You guys can like make this look even better. Right? Look at that. That's the pancakes stacked with Greek yogurt in them. Now we're going to do some cream. <laughs> so you need your plate on your scales. Check I've got the right units on. Can't see. Ounces. Grams. Zero. Let's get it on zero. Right. 12 grams of the cream. Oh, let me put my strawberries on the plate first. Hang on. Some strawberries. Look, we're making this look pretty, guys. I'm going to have a field day eating this. 12 grams of cream, so make sure you're measuring as you go. There we go. Tea, teaspoon, where's my teaspoon measurer? Hang on. This is where your sins are. Chocolate shot. One teaspoon is half a sin. Here we go. Oh my. Dang. Look at that. Oh, I am going to lick that as well. I'm not wasting it. Um, hello. Hello. Look at that. So I think, hang on, let me just have a quick count up. I think two and a half, three, four. Four and a half sins for that bad boy. Would that make a wicked pudding? 
or an awesome breakfast. Oh, right, there you go guys. I've got to go and enjoy that now. If you took any value from that, please feel free to share. If you need any, do you want to see it again? Oh my God, how awesome is that? Um, make sure you're following so you don't miss the recipe and the pictures. I'm going to post the whole lot. It smells amazing. You think it looks lush? <sighs> oh my God, I'm going to love eating this. Um, you can still eat good, nice food. It's not a diet, it's a plan and it works when you get to know the whole plan. So enjoy, have a fab Valentine's Day. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.